The main purpose of this video is to highlight the performance differences between three golf clubs that have similarities. The emergence of the Mini Driver is often ridiculed by many, suggesting it is another gimmick from golf manufacturers. Are they right to judge this product with such contempt, or are they missing the point? Is this actually the unicorn in the world of golf clubs? Well, hopefully we'll find out today. I'll provide trackman data for each club's performance and take them out on the golf course to see if I can highlight any potential issues that might need some consideration. And these are the questions that I hope to answer. Is there a place for all three options in the bag? Should you replace your driver with a mini driver or should you replace your three wood with a mini driver? Or is the emergence of the mini driver just a marketing strategy to create something we just do not need? Let's start by looking at the head size of each and their respective lofts. Now ultimately in this video we are obviously going to do a lot of testing and dry ball data will tell us a story but would you believe that ball although bang down the centre was from the new mini driver this ball to the left of centre was in fact the three wood yeah it was longer than the mini driver and obviously there's a variable in strike but it's something we've got to consider and why was the variable in strike and then the driver well that was about 30 yards that way and no further than either of them to be quite honest with you this should be a very interesting and telltale video. A fundamental decision that's going to sway you one way or another, aside from performance, and really when I talk about performance, I mean carry distance. Then you're going to look at these three clubs at address and you're going to decide which one are you more confident about hitting good more often. And it's a very simple decision because confidence is massive and these three head types are very, very different. So it's not even worth entertaining any of them if you don't feel confident at address. I'm not going to give you my opinion because like I say it's almost irrelevant, it's all about what you think. But don't go and buy one of these three if you don't feel confident when you stood over the golf ball. Right, so same thing again. This time we're very much into the wind. These two balls were really well struck. And again, I would say similar swings. That was the mini driver and that was the three. We'd have gone in that direction, by the way. They were both uh, exactly where I want them to be, middle of the fairway. A lot of control and confidence on the tee. But a big shock, we'll walk over there just in case the camera doesn't pick up. That was the driver which just hovered. Uh, a lot higher launching ball hovered into the wind and very surprisingly was a good 10 yards short i'm quite shocked at this point at well it, what i expected from the fairway wood and the mini driver in that i got a great deal of control and found fairways and i lost control with the driver what i'm also shocked at is the difference in terms of the distance I've got to say this video is just full of anomalies and nothing like what I expected when we planned to start this. I've just hit both of the clubs that I feel comfortable off the deck and that would be the fairway wood and the mini driver. I haven't even tried with the driver, it's not an attempt that I would make to play. And to be honest with you, both balls are pretty much inseparable again in terms of they were both very, very straight and they've ended up in exactly the same position. But the anomaly is this, 
I was able to launch the Mini Driver, which is lofted at 13 and a half degrees higher than what I could a 16 and a half degree fairway would. And that's why golf and golf clubs are absolutely bewildering. And unless you try them out and see how they react in your hands, you'll never get a true reflection. So all preconceptions should always be thrown out the window because yet again, I've just seen something out here on the golf course that has me absolutely bewildered. So these are the last three shots you're gonna see me hit on the golf course. And I start off with a three wood, and this is aiming at the black and white marker. It's probably three wood that I play off this tee good penetrating ball flight, doesn't launch too high. Don't forget this was the Max HL product at 16 and a half degrees, so it surprised me as to how low launching it was, but more than happy with that. Then move into the uh, Mini Driver, which to be honest with you, I absolutely ripped. It's probably the best swing I've put on it. Again, much higher ball flight, and what I've been seeing from the Mini Driver out on the fairway is what I'd expect. And I've got to say the confidence in those two stood on the tee is a lot greater than when I move into a driver. I just love that combination of the shorter shaft and in the mini driver, the larger head profile. So out of those two off the tee, I would always lean towards playing that mini driver, even though performance wise, I haven't seen a great deal of difference to suggest one is that different than the other. Although we were a lot further on this particular tee shot. And then finally I move into the driver and the driver is fine, launch is really high, it's again the max product. These are all products I expect to be in the same category of player, hence the max models. It's launched the ball really higher. It carried a little bit further than the mini driver, uh, but not greatly so, and a little bit wider and off mark in terms of the line I was attempting to take. But without doubt for me, the big decision, and the one I talked about earlier, is what you like at address. And off the tee at least, it would definitely be the mini driver for me. Right now all that's left to finish this video is some Trackman data and uh, we've hit a fair old shots with all three, but it was very soon that these uh, the tail was uh, very much apparent. I'm gonna start off with the numbers on the driver first of all. The interesting thing with me with these numbers on the driver, and you'll see shortly, is the club head speed was down a bit. I wasn't, I was trying to swing as I would out on the golf course, and you'll see very shortly that even though this shaft was almost three inches longer than the other two clubs were going to use, the club head speed is not that much greater, which did surprise me. Uh, this product launches very high, 17 degrees um, as a launch angle on a driver is high. Then go into the mini driver. Now the mini driver, I've always said, gives me between 10 or 15 yards shorter in terms of what I'm giving up by putting it in the bag instead of a driver. On average in this test, it was 13 yards shorter. All the other parameters, take a quick glance at them. They're pretty much decent numbers. I'd be more than happy with every other set of data that's in there, but we've lost 13 yards in carry between that and the uh, the big driver, if you like, the 460cc head or whatever it is. You then go into the three wood, four yards shorter, again on average, to the mini driver, which is, again, if you go back out on the golf course, it's very different hitting into a net than it is in real life. And that's where I think it's very different. We find out on the golf course that the mini driver and the three wood are very much keeping up in terms of distance with the driver, so that's always interesting. Uh, but four yards shorter, um, launch is lower. And I just wanna show you this. This is something that I found interesting. This is the heat map that uh, is the strike location or impact location that was on the three wood. And what you'll notice is the three wood is a much smaller face. And what I tended to find is that both inside and out, I'd always get the ball sort of in the bottom grooves. So you're teeing a three wood up in general a little bit lower. And I just didn't always find I was getting it out the center of the club face. And that was apparent on the impact location uh, that I obtained in here on Trackman. But I think it's really relevant because and one of the big telltale stories between all of this testing really, the reason I'd like a mini driver is predominantly off the tee, I prefer it than the three wood or the driver. And then you look at that head size and where you tee it up and it just seems so easier to find the sweet spot that it does with a three wood teeing it up low. So you, you kind of gonna, you, you've got to make your own decisions as to what the reasoning is as to why you might prefer one over the other. So answering question number one, is there a price for all three in the bag? And I would say on evidence, clearly not. 
Should you replace your driver for a mini driver? Well, that very much depends on what you are struggling with. If you're a good driver of the ball, then obviously not. But if you do struggle with this, then this is a viable option that won't give up much yardage and should get you in play more often. And finally, is this a three wood replacement? My own opinion is no, it isn't. You see, if I'm a player that is struggling with driver off the tee, then I need to find an alternative and the mini driver is a better choice than the three wood. But with the versatility that Callaway offer in the mini driver, it's not that extensive. And by that, I mean it's a one trick pony. I really don't fancy this too often as a club to hit from the tight fairway lie. So I'm afraid you still need a fairway wood option. And I also don't think that is a three wood for most golfers at least, but that's another video. So. There are my findings, that's my thoughts, but again, I think this is very much individual opinion that will guide you one way or the other. But these are three very different clubs in my opinion. They have similarities, but they are certainly not the same, and each has their place potentially in your golf bag. Right, that's me done. I hope it helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon.